everyone welcome back to the channel I got a little project I want to work on today I'm gonna bring you along with me um, so if you can follow along and see if we can do this together so what I've got so far is I've got my predator platform and I went ahead and I disassembled it completely I took all the bolts and everything off of it so it's just the bare metal um, it's brand new so I didn't have to like degrease it or clean it or anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a camo paint job on it I'm gonna start off with this clean metal primer so um, generally I don't follow directions, but I'm going to do it this time because I don't want to mess up my stuff. So I'm just going to make sure that once I coat this, that I wait the full 48 hours before I add the top coat. So we're going to add one coat, and we're going to wait about a half hour, and we're going to come back and do the second coat. Let's get started. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and wait a half hour. We're gonna come back and give it another coat. All right, so it's been about a half hour. We're gonna go ahead and get this last coat on here. All right, so it's looking pretty good. Um, the directions on the primer say to wait 48 hours, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, lucky for you, it's only gonna be a matter of seconds. All right, so it's been the full 48 hours. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our first um, our first top coat on this. Um, so we're gonna use the tan camouflage paint. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over it once. We're gonna give it about an hour to dry, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give it a second coat. All right, so that, I mean, that already looks 10 times better than that white primer. I mean, that stuff's been driving me crazy for about the last two days, having to wait to paint this. But uh, I see a couple little spots right up here real quick. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about an hour. I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna give it another coat. All right, so it's been about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this final coat on here. And then I'm pretty much just gonna let this sit outside uh, for the rest of the rest of the day. We got a few hours of sun left, so I just really want to let it sit out here and bake on and get really nice and cured. All right, that should do. Like I said, I'll let it sit out here for a majority of the rest of the day, and then either tonight or um, tomorrow morning. I'll actually get some sponges and we'll start working on the camo pattern itself. So uh, stick around for that. So it's only been about an hour, but I thought I'd bring you out here to go ahead and give you some close-up shots of what this tan paint's looking like so far. And then, so what we're gonna do once we get this inside is we're going to take some sponges and we're gonna dab other colors on there to kind of create 
like a tree bark pattern. That's kind of what we're wanting to do. So it's been quite a few hours that I had this outside drying. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the brown camouflage spray paint and we're going to spray it down into, into here. And then we're going to use some of these um, sponges and you can just find these in the craft section. And I'm going to use some of these thin edges and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blot it onto here just kind of see the pattern and then to kind of blot off some of the excess and then I'll use that to do the platform. So that's kind of kind of what we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to go through with the black and a uh, just a foam brush and I'm just going to touch up some of the lighter spots and some of the darker spots just to kind of add a little more shadows and stuff. And then for the final color, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just touch up just a couple more extra spots with this OD green, just to kind of make it look like moss. Now that green that we added, that was just a tiny little bit of paint just here and there, just to kind of add some accents to it. Um, I think once all this dries up, I am gonna come back and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the lettering in orange and then I'm gonna do a matte finish on it. And then from there, I'll just have to let it dry and it'll be done. So next I'm gonna come through with this outrageous orange paint and I'm just gonna highlight the lettering on both sides. And then the next step after that will be clear coat. All right, I'm gonna finish up the paint on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the other side, and then we'll take the outside and do some clear coat. All right, so we're losing light, so we're gonna have to do this quick, but uh, so the last the last thing we're gonna do is add this matte finish, and we're gonna use this Krylon uh, matte finish. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a couple coats of this on there, and then after that we're done, we're just letting it dry. So I'm only going to have to coat this one more time after this. If you've watched the video this far, um, I really appreciate your time. Make sure you drop a comment, hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe. The next video I got coming up is uh, my full saddle setup for this year. Thanks for watching.